Vladimir Putin, is he not the force he once was? He seems to be pulling back in certain areas now, doesn't he? Um, well, well, he may or may not be personally the force he once was, but his army doesn't seem to have done quite what he expected it to, and I should imagine he's having some quite tense conversations with those who told him it was going to be a cakewalk. Mm. Um, at the same time, he's now got himself into a war where he's got to do something. He either gives up, which is unlikely, or he has to come up with a plan B, which is likely to consolidate what we've got take the things we have to take, which is Maripol, and um, reorganise, re-equip, get more soldiers, get their act together and do something dramatic in the spring. Mm. On, on, on that point about whether or not he has actually uh, lived up to the things that he initially went into Ukraine for, I mean, as, has been, as I understand and many others have um, described, one of the reasons was that he wanted Ukraine to remain neutral and that that wasn't something that necessarily Ukraine wanted. They wanted to be closer to NATO and the European Union. But Zelensky in the last week or so has said that that is an option now open on the negotiating table. So I guess some people may argue that if Ukraine does remain neutral, would that not be actually uh, doing the things that Vladimir Putin perhaps invaded for? Um, in, uh, possibly. I mean, the, the, the background to all this is Vladimir's Putin's long documented desire to unite the Rus peoples and the, 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 the great Russian Empire rebuild um, thing, which is quite popular in Russia because many people had a better life in the Soviet Union than perhaps they do now. Um, the neutrality thing, yes, I think that was more cause and spell more why, why we're going to get frisky about it. But I mean, he's lost uh, equipment probably four or five times the size of the entire British armies. He's had quite a lot of people killed. He's got quite a lot of widows. And if he goes back to where he started from, you know, that's not really credible. He might pause there, but, you know, Russians tend to play a long game and are stubborn. So we, the, the risk for the world is we get a ceasefire that's on an unstable line. Yeah. And then either we have to arm it, as we do in Korea, arm it to death, which is expensive, or it moves around a bit as it used to in the Donetsk before this kicked off.